talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Kings chapter 25. Before we get started into that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us, Father. Give us wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and discernment about what we're about to read, watch, and listen to as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, and or listening to, just show us that person, Father God. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. Take away any and all distractions away from us so we can focus on you. We pray, Father God, that you guard and protect us in our vehicles, our loved ones in their vehicles, our leaders in their vehicles, others in their vehicles, and the animals as well. So we're traveling to and from different locations, just drive for us. And send down our guardian angels to protect us. We thank you for them. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you call us to do. Just work for us, in us, and through us today, Father God. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray, Father God, against any and all attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's blessings over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world. We pray that you give us, our loved ones, our leaders, others, and the world, godly and divine wisdom, knowledge, and discernment to make the right choices and decisions today not only for the betterment of us, but others as well today, Father God. We thank you for that. We pray, Father God, that for the safety of our cities and the people in them, we pray that you show mercy on us and heal our land. We come to you in repentance and ask that you forgive us of each and every sin, whether it be in word, thought, and or deed that we've committed against you, others, and or ourselves, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. We pray for our enemies and all our loved ones who have not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior and those listening today, and would like to do so now. We pray John 3, 16 over you. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you're going to go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast. There's not enough good works that any of us can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through that perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the sins of the world that any of us get to go to heaven. So Father God, we thank you for this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. Help them in their daily walk and relationship with you. Help them to get into prayer with you each and every day, which is just like we're doing now, talking to you, listening for your voice, and obeying what you tell them to do. Help them to get into your word each and every day, which is the Bible and stands for basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies and the truth will set them free. Thank you for this person listening and everyone listening today. In Jesus' name and all God's people said, Amen. All right, 
Let's go ahead and get started into what the Lord has to say about the book of 2 Kings chapter 25. So if you have your Bibles and you'd like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of 2 Kings chapter 25 and we'll get started. Thank you. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came, he and all his host, against Jerusalem, and pitched against it. And they built forts against it round about. And the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. And on the ninth day of the fourth month, the famine prevailed in the city, and there was no bread for the people of the land. And the city was broken up, and all the men of war fled by night by the way of the gate between two walls, which is by the king's garden. Now the Chaldees were against the city round about, and the king went the way toward the plain. And the army of the Chaldees pursued after the king, and overtook him in the plains of Jericho. And all his army were scattered from him. So they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon, to Riblah, and they gave judgment upon him. And they slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, and he put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and bound him with fetters of brass, and carried him to Babylon. And in the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, which is the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuchadnezzar Adon, captain of the guard, servant of the king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem. They burnt the house of the Lord and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem. And every great man's house burnt he with fire. And all the army of the Chaldees that were with the captain of the guard break down the walls of Jerusalem round about. Now the rest of the people that were left in the city and the fugitives that fell away to the king of Babylon with the remnant of the multitude did Nebuchadnezzar and the captain of the guard carry away. The captain of the guard left to the poor of the land to be vine dressers and husbandmen. And the pillars of brass that were in the house of the Lord, and the basis, and the brass and sea that was in the house of the Lord, did the Chaldees break in pieces and carried the brass of them to Babylon. And the pots and the shovels and the snuffers and the spoons and the, all the vessels of brass wherewith they ministered took they away. And the fire pans and the bowls and such things as were of gold and gold and of silver and silver the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, one seat and the bases which Solomon had made for the house of the Lord. The brass of all the vessels was without weight. The height of the one pillar was 18 cubits and the chapiter upon it was brass. The height of the chapiter, three cubits and the wreath and work and pomegranates upon the chapiter round about. All of brass, and like unto these had the second pillar with wreathen work. And the captain of the guard took Sarayah, the chief priest, and Sephaniah, the second priest, and the three keepers of the door. Now did the city to an officer that was set over the men of war, five men of them that were in the king's presence, which were found in the city, and the principal scribe of the host, which mustered the people of the land, and threescore men of the people of the land that were found in the city. And Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, took these and brought them to the king of Babylon, to Riblah. And the king of Babylon smote them and slew them at Riblah in the land of Hamath. So Judah was carried away out of their land. And as for the people that remained in the land of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon had left. Even over them he made Gedaliah, the son of Achikam, the son of Shaphan, ruler. And when all the captains of the armies, they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah governor, there came to Gedaliah to Mizpah, even Ishmael, the son of Netaniah, and Yohan, the son of Kariah, and Sariah, the son of Tanhumath, the Nedophite and Yezaniah, the son of a Machathite, they and their men. And Gedaliah swore to them and to their men, and said unto them, Fear not to be the servants of the Chaldees, dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. But it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Nataiah, the son of Elishamah, 
of the seed royal, Cain, and ten men with him, and smote Gedaliah, that he died, and the Jews and the Chaldees that were with him at Mizpah. And all the people, both small and great, the captains of the armies, arose and came to Egypt, for they were afraid of the Chaldees. It came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Eochachan, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, on the seven and twentieth day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, did lift up the head of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, out of prison. And he spoke kindly to him, set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him. In Babylon, and changed his prison garments, and he did eat bread continually before him all the days of his life. And to his allowance was a continual allowance given him of the king, a daily rate for every day all the days of his life. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Second Kings chapter 25. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it today. And until next time, bye!